we will walk through these three activities loop data loop element and loop wave it's also part of control of workflow so let's go for it first we'll move on a loop data actually this loop is used to pass through the data like we will make here a array in a javascript firstly connect with here's a workflow and now edit it's a property now we'll create here a array so will be name of array and now we'll put here a data like a even number 4 6 8 10 now we want to pass through this data one by one so we'll use here a loop data remember that with the both loop we will use also a loop break to indicate that it will be end of loop and now it should be start from the start of loop here will also you will need to give a loop id you can also use it sir by default id so we will use it by default id here will be paste now we will paste here a javascript for print out values one by one in a console when you want to show data in a console you can get a data by atoma reference data in the first parameter you will need to give here a loop data and in the second parameter you will need to give a id of loop as we know it's id of loop and next will be a indicate a data it will remain same for all now we'll check it firstly we'll open here a console of current web page now we'll clear here now we'll run it it's a little bit mistake that is you must also need here a data reference in a in a loop data activity then you will edit its attribute then you can select here a custom data when you will select here a custom data you will give here a reference of variable variable dot v now it's connect with it now we we'll run it and you can see it's properly run and you can see here a even number so next is loop on element actually loop on element is used when you have a multiple element on a single selector like uh, when you will check here you can see here a multiple checkbox you can check here a multiple checkbox one two here is a true checkbox so we'll copy it now we'll use it in a loop of element connect with workflow and now we'll give here a selector and copy its loop id now we'll paste here a id of loop where we want to break a loop we want to click on each element we'll paste here a click activity and now we'll connect it with the workflow it's a loop which will go on each element which you have been targeted in it and click on it like uh, here firstly we'll give here a selector loop data and here will be id of loop we have been copied just paste here and now we'll just save it yeah, that's our element which we have been targeted we'll test just our workflow as we know it's successfully run we'll just test it again it's properly run i hope you are understand both activities you should also remember that you must be put a loop break on a both activities loop element and loop data these are required loop break when your loop will be end and you can start your next workflow from the next node of loop break i hope you are understand if you have any confusion you can comment below this video